everyone, this is Frosty, and today I have a Zerg vs. Protoss battle on the map Zell Naga Caverns. Um, I asked a bunch of questions in it, so if you want to reply to them, leave some comments in the comment bar, that would be great. Um, you could rate up with a thumb, you could rate down, you could subscribe, or you can... I don't know what else you could do. <laughs> but that's what the options are right now. Um, so yeah, enjoy that commentary. And I thought I'd share that I actually got Donkey Kong Country Returns today. I've never played Donkey Kong before, except for the really old version where the barrels would fall and you know, you're Mario and you try to jump up and get Peach. But uh, I was never really good at that one. I think I never made it past like the third level. So uh, we'll see how this goes. I hear it's difficult, but it's fun. So if you guys have played this, leave some comments if it was fun, if it wasn't fun, what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, I'll tell you guys in another video what I thought of it. And that's about it. So enjoy the rest of this video and uh, have a great day. Hey everyone, this is Frosty, and today I have a Zerg vs. Protoss battle on the map Zell Naga Caverns. And over here on the bottom left hand corner is Axis of Evil, the red Protoss player. And up in the top right is me, Frosty, the blue Zerg player. Um, so with Protoss, I am not very good against Protoss. I hardly ever win against Protoss. I just really don't know what's the best um, build against them. Uh, leave a note or comment in the comment bar if you guys know like an amazing <laughs> build against Protoss because I have not figured it out yet. I'm okay against Zerg versus Zerg, but first Protoss, it's like rare that I win. Uh, so you can see here that he's in scouting my base and I actually should have killed him there right when he went through my mineral line. Um, and we can see that he's actually put, I've actually put down a spawning pool, so that would be like 13 pool, and he's actually putting down a gateway and a forge. Um, so it might be a cannon rush or maybe just cannoning his base, but I see that he's actually got that forge. And uh, for me, seeing that forge, I'm going down to see what the hell he's doing. And I see that he has put a pylon down. Um, so I really should have killed him when he went through my mineral line, but I didn't. And now he's actually going to be putting up one proton cannon. Um, I guess to... Okay, there's two. <laughs> he's putting up two pro proton cannons. So I'm going to want to get that overload away pretty quickly. Um, so I can't surround because I can't get in... Uh, I can't get off my ramp because he's totally blocked me in. So this is... Uh, I've seen this a few times. And I've seen this in some pro games. So what I've learned from them is to make some spine crawlers because spine crawlers have uh, the high ground advantage and they can reach far. Yay! Alright, so over here I'm actually still in his base and he doesn't really have anything um, but he has a zealot there and I guess one more coming. Uh, so we can see here I'm just going to spread some creep so that um, I can get spine crawlers reaching those uh, proton cannons. And he's actually going to be sending another zealot there but we can see that he's actually getting a gateway and he's actually about uh, five harvesters ahead right now, <coughs> and he has two gas running, so he might be going for a gassy build, we'll see. Um, and I only have one gas, but I'm actually going to be getting a roach horn. So here we go, I'm going to be moving those spine crawlers up um, on that ramp, so I can... I, I just decided to go too, because why not? <laughs> they're pretty fun, and they're, uh, they're good protection for your base, because I don't really have that many zerglings, and he has played a lot of zealots. So I see that he uh, has all these zealots, and he's actually going to run away from my zerglings, um, with that one being so close to dead. And he's actually just sent one sentry, uh, not sorry, not sentry, stalker, he must have sent it by accident. Uh, but I ended up taking those minerals and gas from him. <laughs> and I guess I just have this zergling scouting for secret expansions. And wow, he's actually 10 harvesters ahead right now, and we can see that I'm actually going to be getting a expansion at my natural base and over in his base he's going to be getting a robotics bay and a gateway so uh oh this is looking pretty scary especially with that uh with him actually being almost 15 harvesters ahead now so <laughs> oh man this is not working well um we can see that he's actually put down a uh, proton cannon probably to protect his base um it might be good if i did a quick ceiling running because that would be fun uh, but we can see here that I've actually, um, expanding my creep, I moved that, spi that spine crawler out in the front of my, in between bases, really. Um, so just to protect, really. And over here you can see that I'm actually going to be mutating my hatchery into a lair, and I'm going to be getting an evolution chamber. Um, so I'm probably going to be getting some upgrades, and we can see that I've actually got that metabolic boost going, and I'm going to be getting, uh, armor for my ground units. Um, so continuing to expand the creep, and over here we can see that he's actually going to be getting some 
um, Immortals, and it looks like he's actually going to try to want to expand over here in this, uh, in the third base, so let's see, how many minerals does this guy have? He has 300 minerals! Oh, well, actually it costs him 400, right. Anyways, uh, we can see that he's actually going to be getting, um, ground weapons level 1. Hmm. Maybe that's attack upgrade, I'm guessing. <laughs> and we can see that he's actually going to be getting a Twilight Council in his base. He's actually got a lot going right now. Um, so his army doesn't look too bad, but um, mine looks pretty good. It looks like it could take it right now. Like, you know, we maybe have an even match. And we can see that I just dropped a changeling in there to see what kind of um, force he had. And it looks like he's got a pretty good force. He's got the immortals to combat my roaches. But I have the Zerglings to combat the uh, Immortals and the Stalkers and the Roaches to combat the Zealots. So yeah, leave some comments on what kind of uh, build that you guys use against the Protoss. And there's four se sentries. I don't really don't like sentries. I can never, I never ever fight them on a ramp because if they just separate their, my army, then they're going to dominate you. And we can see here that he's actually, uh, I'm going to try to stay on that creep. Gives me that speed advantage, and I'm going to try to do a nice around here. Um, but with those four fields, it's actually a little bit harder to uh, to get through to his army. But uh, that's what some things do, right? Um, so it looks like I actually deal with that army actually pretty well. And uh, he's actually still got an observer survive because I don't have any air attack. Um, but we can see here that he's actually only had those three zealots, so I'm going to try to attack whatever I can at this moment. And we can see that I'm actually going to get the level 2 armor upgrade for my Grand Zerkins, and he's actually going to be getting armor upgrade uh, level 1 for the Protoss. So we see I just destroyed his, uh, his natural space there, and uh, I'm just going to push a little forward, but I see that he has a lot there, especially with that Proton Chain, which actually does quite well. And he's actually got a couple Dark Templars out right now, so I... Uh, <laughs> That's not too good for me. I feel like Dark Templars are really good. Like, I really don't know what to do against them. Um, what is the one unit that is good against those Dark Templars? Because I have no idea in the world. So you can see that he's actually going to be putting up a, uh, putting up that Nexus again. But I still have two little Zerglings. I should have really destroyed that. Okay. Uh, well, I destroyed one, <laughs> one, uh, probe. Um, over here you can see that he did get his Dark Shrine to get those Dark Templars. And looking at mineral count right now, um, he is, I'm actually 10 behind right now. Um, I know I didn't show it earlier in the game, but earlier I was about 20 behind, so <laughs> I'm not doing too well on this mineral count, but I think I'm doing better than average, like on my average day. Look at that guy, he's so close to dead. I always just leave guys so close to dead, but I'm running away because I noticed that he does have those Dark Templars, and I can't really, I don't want to fight that <laughs> if I can't even fight them, right? Um, it just gives me a huge disadvantage. So it looks like at production, he's going to be pumping out some Immortals, because I guess he sees the Roaches, and I'm just going to be pumping out a whole load of Roaches, so uh, we'll see how this goes. And it looks like he's actually uh, mining out those minerals there. So he's going to eventually want to move those guys down here. Well, probably it'll be really soon because because uh, <coughs> he was uh, oversaturated right there. He's still actually quite oversaturated. But uh, we can see that my, oh, my army is actually, hmm, they look kind of, mine looks a little bit bigger. Um, and I do roaches because I feel like they're strong against the Dark Templars, but I'm really not sure. <laughs> so uh, I've actually done well on my creep this time and looking at production, he's actually going to try to get Blink, and I don't know. I've never... people really don't use Blink that much. I feel like a lot of people don't really use Blink as often as I, uh, not as often as I'd like. <laughs> or, never mind. Anyways, I'm going to try to kill off those Dark Templars, uh, because those are super annoying. Uh, in this situation, what would you have killed off first? Would you have killed off the Dark Templars, the Immortals, or the Zealots? And it looks like he's just going to be attacking a bunch of probes, um, which is fine for me because I don't mind attacking probes because it means that he has less, uh, looking at income. i he's still ahead. <laughs> Man, he is, oh, and it looks like he's put an expansion right there, which he might not want to do, and I've had this force just coming in right now, so he could cancel that and get all those minerals to fight me with, but it looks like he's just going to try and, uh, I don't know what he's going to try. He's just going to try the small little army at a time, which I, I don't think is going to work so well. So I've decided to, instead of going this way, I'm going to go this way so that I can block off those probes and get uh, some good damage on those. Um, so I've just probably killed about 8, 10 probes. 
but he still has 32. Okay, there we go. Now he has 18 probes, so... Oh, here comes some more! Kill, kill, kill! Anyways, um, so that's looking pretty good. Maybe he was sending those... I don't know where he was sending those probes. Maybe to fight? I don't know. Um, but now it looks like it's pretty much game. Um, well, I actually put it in base hatchery because I wanted, uh, I did this because I wanted to get more zerglings out. Uh, I think that was a little earlier in the game. Um, yeah, I, I know, no in base hatchery. And it looks like Axis of Evil just left, so it looks like I've just won that game. Um, but, yeah, I decided to go for another in base hatchery just to get those extra larvae. Um, so thanks for watching everyone, and just leave some comments about all the questions that I asked. I'm sorry if I asked too many questions uh, about Protoss, but man, Protoss is not the race that I'm good against. Um, so I'll see you guys in a couple days, and enjoy those couple days. <laughs>